and happy holiday weekend for everybody in Canada. Happy 150th Canada Day. And for everyone in the States, my home country, you know, happy 4th of July coming up on Tuesday. The market's going to be closing early on Monday. Um, and, you know, this week was a real wake-up call for our family. My husband unfortunately lost an uncle, and so, you know, life is absolutely precious. So make sure that you enjoy each and every moment with your family members. Tell them you love them. You know, he was a great man, really gave back to others, and was really very caring and loving, so it's been really tough for the family. Um, you know, but that's the whole reason why I got into this and why I'm sure many of you have as well is because it does give you the flexibility to go ahead and be able to be with your loved ones, be able to take trips, do things that people only dream about doing when they're retired, and you can do it when you want to. You can create your own schedule. You can work from where you want to work. You know, if you've read my book, you'll see uh, all about um, Travelite, you know, she, Jordan, she goes and she travels the world trading you know she's a young girl and she's traveling the world trading this is really a profession and career that you can do where you want when you want devote as much time as you want however it does take time to learn your own strategy that is successful for you and what will work um, so the big thing is really test it out try and see what's good for you if you do hear some noises my little one is playing in the background uh, so also, Trade Ideas this weekend also has a special promo going on for 22% off with the uh, promo code FIREWORK. The links are down below as well as the promo code. And I think they are having an upcoming open house as well, so watch out for that. Also, um, I have had people asking me if I'm going to Timothy Sykes Summit down in Orlando this year. I had a great time last year. It was amazing. I highly recommend it for people. However, with the newborn here, it is a little more difficult, especially traveling with two. And so I think that this year I'm not going to be going. I will miss everyone. I'm sorry about that. Um, hopefully I will be there in 2018 when the girls can experience it a little bit better. Uh, it is a great place to go if you have kids. However, with the little baby, it will be a little tough. Uh, I can't bring her into the ceremony. It was much easier last year when she was still growing inside. And this weekend is very, very exciting. I do have my book signing coming up up in at Chapters Point Claire up here in Montreal. So if you are local or upstate New York or Vermont, drive on up. Come chill with me for the afternoon. Uh, it's going to be 2 to 6 at Chapters Point Claire, and I'm really, really excited to hang out and, you know, chat with other traders and people that are really interested in getting into trading as a profession and career because it's just, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, going into the watch list for this week, as always, guys, I'm not a professional. These are just my opinions. Um, I do recommend watching the support and resistance levels, and as always, you can find the... Uh, actual watch list on my Instagram and Twitter as well. I'll be posting that up. For longs this week, we have Asa HLD. If it breaks resistance of 910, the support level I would look for uh, risk uh, management is 865. It did have a 64% short sale volume on Friday and there's 21 million in the float. Uh, XELB has a resistance of 3.25 and then a support of 2.65. And it was 96% short sold on Friday with a 5 million float. So that could very easily go parabolic if those shorts get, you know, squeezed. And we have CDTI, which was lower on volume, but it just does still have a good uh, potential move to it. If it breaks 280 of resistance and 260 for support level, it had 64% short sale volume on Friday and 10 million in the float. Another long potential is SFL if it breaks the resistance of 1385 and a support level of 1330. It was a short sale volume of 66% on Friday. A larger float, 72 million, so it would need a, a fair amount of volume behind it to go ahead and drive it up. And more of a longer term swing trade I, I would look at is BKS, Barnes & Noble. Ironic, right, with the book. Um, if it breaks resistance of 7.8, it does look like it's curling up from a, a support level. And a support of 7.40, that didn't have as much short, short sale volume on Friday. So I don't think that it's going to be one that would go parabolic, but I think that that's going to have a nice upward trend movement to it in the next couple weeks. 
For our shorts this week, we have VIPS uh, with a resistance of 1130 and a support of 1050. MGM with a resistance level of 32 to the upside and support of 31. Kara, a resistance level of 1930 and support of 1450. That was a huge drop gap down on Friday and then continuation down. HTZ, if that one can break out above 1240, watch out. Support level of 1050. Uh, DDD, if that has a resistance level of 20 and a support level of 1850, then it looks like it go down to 1770 and 17. And OLED, I've been saying that was a great long since January. It looks like it has a head and shoulders on the daily chart, so I would be very wary here. And I would say, look, it's got a resistance level of 11, 111.25, and if it breaks 108, watch out, I think it could be going down to 200 SMA, down around 80. So watch out for that. That's a good $28 move. I wouldn't want to be long entry up there. Um, as always, for the resort, uh, excuse me, for the shorts, I would say if it breaks the support levels, it would continue down in that trend. And for the longs, if it breaks the resistance level, it would continue the momentum upwards. As always, guys, Carpe Profit sees those profits one at a time. Have a great week ahead. Be safe over the holidays and looking forward to visiting with you.